Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Happy Friday to everyone out there. It's the end of the week. Hope everyone's having a safe and a blessed evening out there. In today's video segment presentation, will be geared towards the precious metal stacking community. For my two community gents, early I was on that snap on truck, so I did throw out a little piece of content for y'all. Now it's time to move on. Um, earlier this morning, I did receive quite a few packages. So in today's video, I have quite a few things to get through. All right. Um, later on this week, coming into the beginning of the week. Also, I have quite a few different things coming in. So stay tuned for that. All right. So I ain't going to hold you up in the introductory too much more longer. So walk with me. Let's get it. All right, pretty much, you know how we're going to do this. We're going to do one package at a time. Um, Where is this coming from? Okay, this is coming from TCD, Concord Exchange. All right, uh, from Minnesota. Uh, what we have here, thank you for supporting small business all the time. All right, uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get out my box cutters. I'm going to check what this is first real quick. We got here got some paperwork and a card hold on let's see what this card is okay they did send a card this is the coin digger this is a family owned and operated business All right just to give you a um, quick visual so let's move along uh, we just came in all right, this is uh, basically uh, some precious metals, power familiar right here. Okay, uh, what I ordered was a few simple um, coin and bar stands. All right, um, this is five, I believe. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move along into this next package. Let's get it. Alrighty then, unfortunately, uh, just now I just had an issue with my camera stand, alright, so it basically cracked, so I basically, um, have to go to holding the camera manually, alright, so I'm gonna get these packages out to the top, just pulled out, you know, these stands, just to get a few pieces out as a little eye candy, alright, just in case you miss, um, some of the pieces that I did come away over, um, this week, like, this complete a coin, 10 ounce Queen's Beast, uh, just as well as this Royal Canadian Mint 10 ounce bar that I uh, got from Florida Stacker. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get these packages out to the top, get my box cutters out. Um, I'm going to have to go through one package at a time. M more than likely, you're not going to be able to uh, actually see me um, literally un open the box because, you know, it'd be hard for me to record and you know, open a box with box cutters with one hand and things like that. So just stick with me. Let's get it. All right. So we got these three to get to right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with this box right here. All righty then. So got some paperwork here. Let me see if I can. Okay. All right. Coming out of this box. Did pick up uh, another one ounce Johnson's and Matthews Asayers Refiners one troy ounce serialized bar. Everybody's familiar with these, all right. I really like the uh, J and Johnson's and Matthews bars um, compared to some of a regular um, normal standard bars that are out there. I like to get you know very certain specific pieces, like so to say, like how you see the Pimp Swiss uh, one ounce silver bars over there so you know these are one troy ounce all right Let's see if they send anything else all right so that's done with all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna move over here into this package into this purple one let's get it all right the seller have things um heavily packaged up Let's see if i can do this with one hand Allow me to do it. Let me see. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. Oh. Oh, let's go 
double pack. Right, hold on a second. Alrighty then, now that I got this open, Scylla also um sent some cards here. Right. Like I pretty much what I did was I picked up some more of the Scottsdale Archangel bars. I have put out uh, a video on these quite some time ago, all right, where I was purchasing them uh, live and direct from the Scottsdale Mint. Um, I happened to come across these in an auction for, you know, reasonable price. So I wound up uh, snatching these off an of eBay auction, all right. Um, I do like these one ounce bars. Um, if you take notice, they have reeded edges. Anybody um, who has these bars know that. If I can give you a nice, um, clear visual, if the camera will catch it, you can see that they have, um, reeded edges. Like I stated, I have demonstrated these in the past, all right? So, you know, I do like these right here. So this was another, um, pickup that I got in, uh, today, all right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move along into the final package sitting right there so walk with me let's get it alrighty then I got things partially uh from out this pack uh this item is coming uh from Salt Lake City Utah just as well okay so let me get this out alrighty then now that I got the item open let me see okay this was a piece that I've been wanting for quite some time, all right, which is um, quite rare. When these Una and Lion bars first came out, um, I had picked up the one ounce versions of these because they sold out quite quick. This is the 10 ounce version here coming from the Royal Mint. Um, if I'm not mistaken, uh, I believe that there was only slightly over 6,000 of these minted, all right, worldwide. This is a, a limited edition and um, a special collector's edition. I believe that this is the first of the series of these bars right here. All right, um, I've been wanting to get this in my stack, you know, if I would have been able to at least obtain two of these if sometime down the road i may possibly add another one of these to my stack just due to the fact that they're very scarce right now and they're very hard to get you know um when these first came out a lot of major reputable bullion dealers sold out of these you know quite quick all right this is a very very nice piece right here um when i first received the one ounce versions of these i knew it off the off the back you know when it comes to its design it has like a, a laser edge footprint okay behind the una and the lion the details in this ball i really really like i like the details in this ball something similar to the britannias okay that i actually have um sitting back over here in the capsule when it comes to these 10 ounce bars, um, the Royal Canadian Mint Bar, the Britannia Bar, and this Una and Lion Bar is my preferable um, choice of bars in 10 ounce to stack uh, at the prior moment. You know, everybody has a different set preference. You know, there is um, cheaper quality or at least inexpensive um, bullion and silver out there, but... The thing is, is that when I am shooting for silver, I'm shooting, you know, for very specific key pieces. Um, like I said, everybody stacks a little bit differently. Um, everybody's finances is set up a little bit differently and things like that. All right. Just as well as, you know, I'm into silver. I'm also into gold, platinum and palladium. All right. So, you know, these are some of the things that just simply came in towards the end of the week. I have quite a few um purchases coming in the beginning of this week coming up and towards the middle of the week i did purchase something very special all right something also that's uh quite rare i can't really wait to get my hands on it so you know stay tuned 
for that right there. All right. Um, at the prior moment, um, I sent part of my stack out so I don't have the uh, one ounce bars here with me, you know, to get a little side by side comparison. But later on in another um, video down the road, I will do a comparison, you know, to show the indifferentials, you know, between this particular bar and size of the one ounce. And, you know, that will be for those individuals out there who are not as educated in the precious metal space and things like that of that nature. All right. So pretty much, you know, that's basically what it is. All right. So, yeah, you know, that's what just basically came in. All right. So I want everybody to enjoy the rest of the evening out there. And then to the next Precious Metals unboxing review. And for my two community gents out there to that next Snap on Friday, that next toolbox tour, that next modification video. I want everybody to keep safe one out there and keep it stacking. Peace.